Hello class, I've had some, um, well, I've been seeing a lot of issues with our things being uploaded and I know that we're going to, because we're going online, we're going to see a lot more uploads. So I wanted to show a way to uh, download the stuff, get it scanned quickly and easily just using a smartphone. So the app that I use is called Clear Scanner um, and it's available on Android and uh iOS. This is on the Android phone. I'm sure it looks very similar in iOS. If that's not the case, let me know and I'll try and find a video for that. So we're going to open up Clear Scanner first. And the first time you log in, you should see some documents. Now these are things that I've scanned, um, but I want to go in and just show you my workflow on how I scan things. So I'm going to go over here to the photo icon. I'll click the photo icon. And then I should be able to do this. Now, you'll notice down here in the bottom right screen, I've got a single uh, folder represented. I'm going to click on that, and now I'm going to go double, because I actually have two documents here that I'd like to show. So I'm going to do one at a time here. Now, you'll notice I'm on a nice contrasting background here that's going to make my image show up clearer. And I don't have to get this above angle. I can actually do a little bit of a keystone here. So I want to get as much of this as I can, but make sure I get these edges in here. Take a snapshot. Now, even with this kind of mangled piece of paper, it should do a pretty good job. And that's one. Let me get a second photo here. This is a handwritten note, so you can kind of see the, what what will happen if you do it with handwriting. Take a second snapshot here. All right, and when I've got all my images loaded up, I can hit check mark here. And then it'll give me some batch processing here. I can do this, or I can go in and edit it individually. Um, that's the first one. That border looks pretty good. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I can go in and futz with it later. All right, I've got both of those in there. Now it's processing. Now I can take a look at each of these and make sure that they look good. Now that one is a little bit garbage, so I might go and take, retake that photo, but this one looks really nice. Um, I can also go in here and change some things. Let's go in. Let's see if I can recrop this a little bit and get a little bit nicer scan here. So I'm going to go in these corners and try to get these kind of lined up a little bit better. See if that's going to help me out here. Uh, it's still looking kind of blurry here. So um, let's see if I go to the original. Oh, that's pretty hard to read. Photos not better. Documents is not that great. And magic is better, but not quite there. So what I'm going to do here... So I can actually, if I go back to my main document here, I can add more photos to this. So I'm going to clean this up a little bit. Try to straighten out my paper here, get it a little less crinkly. And I'm just going to reshoot that. And in this case, I'm only doing the one. And I'm going to try and get maybe a more of a vertical and see if that helps me out here. Because this is kind of funky. Give it a sec to find those borders. That scans a way better. Even with this crinkled up paper, that's way better. All right. So now I got this here, and I can actually drag these around and move them into the order that I want. Maybe I want the handwritten part first. That's going to be two. And I actually don't need the second one that's not readable, so I'm just going to delete that. Move to trash. Then I can save this. Uh, something that's going to be meaningful to me. Give it a sec for my keyboard to open up, and I'm going to call all this, I don't know, file, school file. So there's my school file. And once I have that, I can export this as a PDF. I want to use PDF in this case because I want to do it all in one page. That makes things a lot easier. And once I have as a PDF, I can share it by hitting the share button and I can decide how I want to do this. I could save it to my OneDrive or I could save it to uh, Gmail. I could also save it to my Google Drive if that's more your liking. There's lots of options here. You could go straight to an email, um, however you want to save it. I usually save things to uh, my G drive here, so then I can just select where I want it to go. And then it'll be accessible to me online or wherever I want to take it. And it'll ask me where I want to save it. I want to save it to my school account. And then it'll upload it. 
and it's as simple as ads. Now, there are some ads, but you can just skip right through those. Yeah. 